Welcome to this, the second video of the Guest Tidy project. In the first video, we got to a stage where we'd made the base, and in this video, we're going to go through how we're going to complete it by making the inserts for the tools and also the trays. The easiest way for me to show you how we made the trays is to go into Fusion 360, open the file, and show you where we are currently at. Let's go to Fusion 360. So, in the last video, I showed you this part which we had made and we took off the supports off the bottom they were a bit stiff but we got them off so here we are this is how we made the trays and the inserts to go uh, along here to fix the tools I've stepped this back on the timeline of Fusion 360 so I can step through it and show you the process first of all for the trays we modified a sketch which is let me turn the body off we made a sketch for the base uh, we made rectangles the size of the trays and we then uh, extruded the trays into blocks and we did this for all the trays uh, like that so they're all blocked at the moment and now we have to hollow them out to hollow them out we use the uh, shell command and this is what the shell command does if i edit this feature you'll see when i click this icon here which is the shell command this is the pop-up you get you select the body which is that square that you want to um, shell or in this case it's this one you type in the uh, thickness of the shell and if we were going to go for six you can see the shell has got a six millimeter wall thickness but we wanted two so we press two and we press the direction which is inside and we press ok so we did this for all the trays until we hollowed them all out radius the edges like so because on the base the edges are radius so we want them to fit in nicely we also radius the top edges of the top edges of the trays to give them a nice rounded appearance and then we moved on to the inserts we opened up another sketch which is the sketch we have on the top here which is this one and we're going to now draw the tool inserts on here to make it easier i'm just going to remove some of these out of the way we don't want to see them so we created a new sketch which is this one if i edit sketch you'll be able to see what we've drawn we've drawn the circles the positions of where we want the um, inserts to be placed and we finished the sketch once we do the sketch we extruded the bodies of the tool holders like so one extrusion was this one here which was the base section and the other extrusion was this top piece and if i edit this feature you'll see how that was produced we used the extrude command we selected the surface we want to extrude which is all these parts here and then we just extruded it to the height that we wanted we could have gone any height so we cancel that because we've made it four millimeters. We then made one on the other end, like so. And we basically just did that until we had them all. So there we have all the tool holders made. And if I turn off the sketches, it'll make it easy to see. That's what we made three separate objects this is the end tool holder and the middle ones are all the same so then once we've done that we copied and repeated all these and there we have the last one there so we extruded all them these are all individual parts ready to be printed so there we have the base 
here we have the individual tool holders which we are going to individually customize for each particular tool and here is all the trays so that's basically where we're up to now we've um, designed it nearly fully apart from the tool inserts modification to fit a particular tool each individual one we have to do that so let's go over to the um, other camera and see what the tool tray looks like I've already printed a couple of trays and we're going to print a few more but these are all the bits and pieces that will be going in it that one's been made just there as it's only the back piece that's curved here's the screwdriver things we're going to be putting into here at a later date but for now we're just going to have to put everything on there in a very orderly manner until we're ready for it these are the inserts which we're going to use they will fit in there one goes in there that one go in there and they'll be all the way along down there so there we have it the tool tidy progress report number two uh, we've got it all designed trays are ready to be just printed printed two the inserts we have to modify them for each individual tool we'll cover that in another video and then we print them and then that will be complete and it should be a nice project once it's finished and if you like these videos and you'd like to see more videos like this um just like and subscribe and obviously if there's anything specific you'd like to know regarding this tool tidy or any projects on this on this um, channel please leave a note in the comments and i shall certainly reply tomorrow have a good day bye for now